we're pretty much done, guys. So almost there, almost there. Hope all of you are doing well. So this lesson is not too, not too hard. If you know that a circle has 360 degrees, I think uh, this is going to be pretty, pretty easy. So let's go over it. Um, so we're talking about, we kind of talked about this last time in our vocabulary, central angle. So we have a circle. We have a center of a circle, right? That point, and that's the name of the circle. This would be circle B. And then from the center to the end of the circle, to a point on the end of the circle, is called the radius, right? And if I have two radii, I form a circle. I'm mean, sorry, I form an angle in the circle, right? In the center of the circle. And so this angle right here is called a central angle. And it has a measurement, right? We talked about a semicircle. The measurement of a semicircle is 180 degrees because the entire circle, the entire circle is 360. Hold on, give me one second. Two people are entering. Sorry guys, there's people entering. Let me get them in here. Okay, so as I was saying, you have a center of a circle. From the center to the edge is a radius. If I draw two radii, remember radii just means more than one radius. It forms an angle in the center that's called a central angle. And um, this one, for instance, you can measure it, it's 84 degrees. Um, the entire circle is 360 degrees. So we use that to, to understand how to, how to measure these. And so let's fill in our notes here. So a central angle is an angle with its vertex at the center of the circle. And the two sides are radii or, you know, that means more than one radius, okay? So that's what a central angle is. It's at the center and two radii form the sides of the angle. Okay, so for example, angle ABC in the picture is a central angle in, um, in circle B in the picture. The sum of all central angles in a circle, like we just said, is 360 degrees. It's a full rotation, right? We all know that. Now, the, that's the central angle. The central angle is tied to the arc it creates. So if we look here, this angle creates an arc. If we see here, we have a minor arc. Remember, I told you, if you have a central angle, it kind of forms two arcs. We have the small arc, which we call the minor arc. And we have a large arc, which we call the major arc. And remember, a minor arc, we need two points. A major arc, we need three points. So how would we name the minor arc? Well, it's from A to C. So we would just say AC and put a little arc over it. That's minor arc AC or just arc AC. Okay. How would we name the major arc? Well, it goes all the way around and we need to have three points. So we would say major arc ADC and put a big arc over it. Okay, so how do we find the measurements? Well, if we go back to our notes, the measure of the arc formed by the endpoints of a central angle is equal to the degree of the central angle. So if the central angle is 84 degrees, guess what the measurement of the arc or the measure of the arc is? It's also 84 degrees. So if I look at the minor arc, AC, that's also 84 degrees. My question is, what would the major arc be going from A, D, C. What would that major arc be? 276. 276. And how did you get 276 degrees? You subtract 360 minus the 84 of the, of the minor arc. Perfect. So from here to here would be the entire 360 minus this 84, which is 276. And that's, that's perfect. And that's it. That's all we're doing. We're measuring arcs by looking at central angles. So if you, if you can figure out what the rest of the pieces are, because of course we're going to have pieces, and I know it's going to be tough for some of you without the patty paper, um, we can figure this out. So let's look at the example. So before I do that, any questions on my explanation? Did I go too fast? 
Um, did I cut out? Is there anything you need clarification on? If you're silent, that's fine. If you're good, you don't have to say anything. But if you have a question, go ahead and unmute yourself and ask it. Okay, good. So let's look at an example. So if I look here now, like I've told you in class, what I like to do, and again, this is a life lesson, look at the diagram, look what you have first, and try to figure out as much as possible, and then look at what you read as. Because if you can figure out and understand what's going on in the circle, there's, and, and you do understand it, there's no question you can't answer. So let's look at this. So we know angle S, Q, T is 122. We know this is a semicircle. So that means the whole semicircle is 180. So this would be 180 minus the 122. And we also know the entire thing is 360. And we would subtract whatever this is, right? So what's 180 minus 122? That would be what, 58? 58, yeah. Very good. So that would be 58. So from here to here would be 360 minus 122, right? Which would be what? Two hundred thirty-eight. Very good. Two hundred thirty-eight degrees. So now we look at this, and and of course, from here to here would be one eighty, and from here to here would be one eighty, because those are semicircles. So let's go. So then, if this is one twenty-two, that means arc ST is also one twenty-two. If this is fifty-eight, that means arc RS is fifty-eight. Right? And if this angle here right, is two thirty-eight, then that means this arc here is also 238. Okay, so now that we, we have an idea of what's going on in the picture, let's see what they're asking for. So they are measuring, asking for the measure of arc ST. That's the small arc because there's only two letters, so ST. So that's, that's easy, that's 122 degrees. RS, that's this small arc right here. We just figured out the central angle is 58, so the arc has to be 58 degrees. And then the measure of major arc, major arc just means over 180 degrees, major arc SRT. So that's SRT. So that's a big one right here. We figured out that was 238 degrees. Any questions on that? Any questions on that? Mr. Yeah. Uh, can you do a problem where you don't figure out stuff first? Because I don't like to do that. I know you said you like to do that, and that's you, mister, but I'm me, and I like to look at the question and then figure it out. Can you do it that way? Okay, we'll do it that way. So let's look at number two. I won't even look at the picture. I'll just look at the question. So number two, the first thing they want is the measure of arc JK. So if I look here, JK is right here, and I'm not kidding, get it, JK? And we know the central <laughs> angle here is 21, so that means the arc should be 21. Good. Measure of arc, I'm sorry, the measure of angle, J and M. J and M. How would I do that? Anyone? How would I get angle J and M? If you don't know, it's okay. You can stay silent, just like in class, right? It's a 180 minus 21. Very good. It's 180 minus 21. Right, because this whole thing, and let's do it in purple, this whole thing right here is 180, because it's a semicircle. Half a circle is 180. So this angle would be 180 minus the 21 that's already here, which would be 159. So that angle would be 159 degrees. All right, next, the measure of arc KL. So they want to know from here, 
to here. Well, if this is, let's, let's go back and see if we remember. If this is 159 degrees, what would this be? Uh, 159 degrees? Yes, very good, because it is a vertical uh, angle. Good job. That means KL would be 159. Guys, I'm so proud of you. After all of the stuff we're going through, you're not forgetting all this stuff. Good job. What's that screaming, screaming in the background? Someone's screaming in the background. Hold on. I, it looks like everyone's muted. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's Giselle. It's not me. I have my TV on, but there's no screaming. Edit that out of the video. Yeah, I think it's Giselle, Abby. I think it's Mr. It's Abby Go. Is it Abby? What? Let's see. No. <laughs> no, it's not Abby. I think it's me because I have my TV on. It's just that. <laughs> okay. Put your TV on uh, closed captions or something. I don't know. Or mute, or mute uh, yourself until you say I want to say something. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now number we're still at number two, JKM. So JKM goes from here all the way over here so how do we do that so let's look here we know from here oops, from here to here is how many 180 right it's a semicircle so if i want to go the rest of the way i need i have 21 more to go the rest of the way so that means it's 180 and 21 which is 201 degrees And the last one is MKL. So M K L. So it's all of this. So it's it's like taking this part out. Well, if we know this is 21 degrees, guess what this is? That's 21 degrees. Mm -hmm. So the uh -huh. that's a different dimension. Go ahead. I heard someone talking. Go ahead. They said three. All right, I'll finish for you. 360 is the entire thing, but minus this part, which is 21. So that'll be what? 339? 339 degrees. And I'm sure whoever was Mr. talking. Uh huh. Mr. Your screen froze for me. Oh, I uh, thought it was only me. <laughs> Mr. Your screen's frozen. Yes, oh, I can't. All right, it's frozen. Don't you feel like we're in class? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I thought it was only me. <laughs> me too. No. Me. Right. I was yeah. like, what? What's going on? Come on, unfreeze. We're having some technical difficulties, guys. Give me one second. There we go. You guys see it now? Yeah, we can see it now. Okay. Yes, we're good. So M K L is all the way around, except for that little piece, the little piece right here, which is 21 degrees. So it's the entire 360 minus 21, which is why we got 339. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties, right? Just like in class. Yes. All right, so that's pretty much the lesson, guys. If you know the angle and that's you can figure point. out what the angle is, you know what the arc is. So, I mean, there's some more examples here, which we will be here forever if I do all of them, but I will take <laughs> questions on which ones you want me to go over that look difficult. Mister, I have a question. Um, uh -huh. Is it okay. true that for the, for the beginning of the school year, the first semester, we're going to do video classes online? or They haven't made a decision yet. They're still, yeah, they haven't told us anything, but they're still deciding. There's some of the things I've heard is it's going to be all online. Another thing I've heard yeah. is um, I heard that too. Half, half of you, like you'd go every other day, so the classes are only half full. 
Um, but they haven't decided anything. They're still talking. Do yeah. you recommend? Do you recommend us start um start contacting our counselor to talk about our classes or? Yes. If you yeah, if you want to email them to make sure because I know they're programming you. They just gave us the teachers of what we're going to teach next year. So yeah, they're putting okay. you in classes. I would talk to my counselor. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Any other questions, guys? Is Are is this pretty? Summer school though, like, is it still on or? Summer school is still on. That's online. Summer school is all online. But next year, we don't know yet. 